Hello friends, hope you all are doing great. Today we are going to discuss about one free certificate from Google and try to answer most asked general questions like, does Google certificate work? What is the benefit of Google certificate? Can I get a job with Google certificate? What jobs can I get with Google IT certificate? We will also show you some real time examples who can be benefit from this certificates. So don't skip anything in between, otherwise you will miss lot of valuable information. So let's begin. Okay friends, before we start, please do subscribe. If you are new to our channel, you will find tons of valuable information. If you are a professional, if you are a student, so please check out some of our previous videos. And if you find some valuable information, please do subscribe. If you find this particular video interesting, please do share with your friends, your colleagues, and please hit a like if you got some valuable information and do comment. If you like this kind of content, I will create more for you. So let's move on. Okay, this is the previous session which we have done, uh, 50 plus free certificates from Infosys. Do check out this particular session as well. You will get a lot of information about this particular certification from Infosys. Okay. So now let's hear this question, does Google certificate worth? So friends, Google certification is first of all, fairly cheap, free, and it definitely adds value to your resume. And it may in turn lead you to get an entry level job position in any IT company. So Google certificates will show to the potential employer that you have a fundamental understanding that required for that entry level job and may help you with higher paying job as well. So this is really definitely worth. Okay, so what are the benefits of Google certifications? So immediate benefit which I can see is that you can build your professional network and engage with other certified leaders by accessing an exclusive Google Cloud certified community. You will obviously receive a digital badge and a certificate to showcase on your achievement on social media and on resume. Okay, so can I get a job with Google certificate? The answer is yes. So upon completion of a Google career certificate, you will gain access to an exclusive job platform where you can easily apply to the opportunities from employers with open IT jobs. I will friends show you what kind of employers interested in joining the Google Career Certificate Employer Program. I will show you on the screen after a minute. So friends, for those people who are not aware about, uh, this is the website called growgoogle slash employers. If you visit this particular website, I will give the link in the description. You will see that there are many employers, world-class employers who are participating in the Google program. You can see the list of all these companies, right? T-Mobile, Advanced Auto Part, Wellfargo, Pfizer, Etsy, Accenture, all these are world-class company, Deloitte, Infosys, and many more. So it's really worth if you are going to do all these Google certificate and uh, it's really good because there are a lot of employer, as you can see, the list is endless. All these people are participating with Google and they recognized Google certificate. So obviously uh, you will get that kind of advantage if you have Google certificate. Now let's talk about the specific certification, which is free and which we are going to discuss in this particular session. Before going to that certificate, I'll just show you one more thing on LinkedIn. So the certificate name is Google Play Store Listing Certificate. The reason why I'm showing you all this thing is, I'm, you can also do that. You can just go to LinkedIn and put over here and you can just see a couple of posts. Now you can see these people, designation friends, founder at Sorento Apps. I don't know these people, I'm just randomly putting this thing and just hit a search and you will get all these things, yeah? game developer. This I'm showing you so that you will understand that what kind of people are doing this particular certificate, right? BTEC, so this one is someone who is fresher, new uh, still. So 
this particular certificate anyone can do whether you're a student or a professional really worth doing this data engineer right i'm just showing you the designation nothing else hybrid engineer at ibm right founder and ceo of multiple award winning at tech startup now these kind of people are doing this certificate right so i'm hopefully that these certification are really worth when people like this co-founder startup people who are all are founders even more founder at quant app right so if you are a mobile developer android developer if you are into uh, uh, doing some freelance work i am sure that this certificate will definitely going to add value right on your resume on your clientele right see web developer ui ux designer right uh, module lead software engineer all these so this list is endless Dig digital product developer right so you can also do browse btech so it's good if you are a student as well or if you are a professional okay so let's let's this is about just to showcase that what kind of people are uh, doing and uh, the certification is helpful let's talk about that particular certificate itself so i will share the link you can always go and see this particular thing so this is called google play academy and uh, yeah and and the certificate is google play store listing certificate right now now you can see if you are a mobile app or game marketer or a developer looking to find some users or upgrade your skills all those things so this particular certificate is helpful and that we have already seen on the linkedin as well that what kind of people are doing that right it will obviously going to help you if you are a, a game developer or if you are putting your apps on google play so obviously this particular certificate is really going to helpful so uh, this is all about this particular certification how you can get started so just let me if you click this uh, you will reach over here yeah now this is the exhaustive guide like what they are covering so you can see uh, the number of minutes and the topics which they are covering get a google play store listing all these things analyze export opportunity all these best practices when you are going to put your app on a google play store right so what are the best practices which you should follow uh, so this is pretty standard and pretty easy you know you can do it at any time and it's completely free so if you just go to the faq session uh, you can see in detail like what this exam is all about. So this particular exam evaluates your knowledge on a specific topic related with Google Play stores. So all these things which we have just seen, the best practices, the success factor, you know, all this based on this particular, uh, your understanding, all these questions will be there, right? How much does the exam cost? So exam is free of cost. So you can try many times and then you can just get the certification. How the process works? complete the registration process so i just showed you you can easily register with your uh, gmail id or you can create your uh, profile as well that's up to you so and then you have to just finish those uh, uh, course material and then just do that exam so that's a pretty standard thing which you can find in any of the uh, google program right uh, timeline see this the exam is five hours so it's exhaustive there is no way that uh you will not have enough time so you will have enough time to finish this particular exam but then is always uh recommended that you will do is when uh, the atmosphere is peaceful maybe early morning or late in the, the night you can easily uh give this particular exam so there's enough timeline right now validation yeah this is for a yearly basis uh, after every year you need to renew it but then again doesn't matter because it's completely free right so you don't you don't have to pay anything and it's in a way it's also good that you will learn something new so these people are always keep on uh, changing or adding few things over here and there so that is pretty good when do i find how i did on the exam so yeah once you submit it uh, you will get a digital badge and uh, that badge you can easily uh, put uh, on your linkedin profile as well and there is something called Google Developer Alumni Directory. So you can go over there and you can find your name over there as well. So this is a pretty standard. If someone has to see whether you actually earned that particular certificate or not, or if your certification is still valid or not, 
So you can all also go to this particular directory and you can put the name and you can see that. Okay, so you have to uh, can attempt to pass an exam four times. Yeah, and I think it's, it's I mean, too much. If you uh, read it properly, I think in just first or second attempt, you will clear the exam, right? So don't worry about that. Okay, so this is one more standard thing. So if you fail first attempt, you have to wait for 14 days before you take the uh, second exam. If you fail your second attempt, you must wait for two months before you can take the exam. And if you fail the third attempt, you must wait for six months, right? So the bottom line is take your every attempt seriously because I'm sure you don't want to wait for two months or six months, right? So if you uh, really uh, go through the course material, it's pretty standard. There are a lot of things which are given in that. Just do some practice and try to clear your exam in very first attempt. So yeah, that's it uh, about this. I hope guys you have uh, got some valuable information today. It's very quick video which I have shoot for you guys. Let me know in the comment section or give a lot of thumbs up so that other people will also got to see this particular kind of material. I hope guys you have uh, learned something new today and see you in next video. I am creating a lot of uh, videos based on this. Uh, free stuff, free online uh, courses which are available. I am creating a lot of material like that in future. So please stay tuned, uh, give a thumbs up, subscribe for more such videos in future. Bye guys, see you in the next video.